We're in Microsoft Office 365, and we're going to take a look at mobile device management and creating a new access rule. Let's click on Admin in our Office 365 homepage, and then that'll take us to the Office Admin Center, and from here we'll click on Exchange. Then when we're in Exchange, we'll see the Exchange Admin Center, and from here we're going to click on Mobile on the left-hand side. And now we're going to click on Mobile Device Mailbox Policies. So there is a default policy here. You can double click if you want on it and just see how it's set up. And you can see it does not require a password. Nothing is really enforced. So let's go ahead and create a custom MDM policy. And we'll just call it custom. But you can call it whatever it is you want. And we're going to override the default policy because we, the default policy does not have the security that we want. So we're just going to go ahead and check the box that says this is the new default policy. We can also allow or not allow mobile devices that don't fully support these policies to synchronize. So we're going to say not to check that box because that would not be a good security thing to do. Now, another good security thing we can do is to require a password. So we can say, hey, if you want to connect to the email system on our network, you're going to have to have a password on your phone in order to get into it. Now, you can allow simple passwords, but again, not a good security approach. So we're going to say require alphanumeric passwords. And you can say the types of character sets that they need to have. So you can say passwords uh, must include this many character sets. So in this case, if we just say one, basically you're going to have to have an uppercase, a lowercase, and any type of symbol uh, in your password. If we say two, then you'll have to have two symbols, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to say you got to have at least one symbol from your keyboard. Uh, then we can also require encryption or not. Most uh, companies do not require encryption at this time, but that will probably happen in the future. We can also say to create a minimum password length. Now, I would suggest at least eight but some companies are going with 12 or higher. We can also set up the number of sign-in failures before the device is wiped. So uh, we could say, let's say 10, that's probably a good safe amount. You don't want to do too low or some phones might get wiped out just by typing in the wrong password uh, one or two times. Then you can have the require sign-in uh, after the device has been inactive for X amount of minutes and you can enforce the password for a certain amount of days. So you can say, well, every 90 days, for instance, you're going to have to change the password on your phone. Now, this is not your email password. This is the phone password. Then we also have the option here to use the password recycle count. So that's how many times you can use the same password uh, or how many times before you can use the, the same password as one you've used before. So we'll say, you can see off the right-hand side, it says enter the number of different passwords a user must use before a previous password can be used. So if we say five, that means that the first password you used can be used again on the sixth time you have to change your password. Uh, so you can do that, set that to any number that makes sense to you up to 50. And when we're all done, we'll go ahead and click Save. And now we have a new custom MDM policy that is now our default.